Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm continuing on and creating another spread in my wings journal. I'm having a lot of fun with this journal so far, even though I will admit to still feeling a little nervous about where I'm going. I had a lot of plans for things to use. If you missed any of the previous videos, I have a couple where I created these tags. I also have one where I created this envelope that's grungy and made out of deli paper. And I also have another process video. So I will link all of those down below as well as the design team videos. So I do know that I want to use some of those tags in my book. I also want to be sure to obviously use the collection itself in this book. I thought maybe I would start here today. I think this can be a little intimidating. I have a general idea for what I want to do with this envelope. I think I'm going to try. Hopefully I don't ruin it. I can't wait to see what everybody else comes up with. I can't wait to see what the design team comes up with and how they're going to use this envelope. So that's where I'm going to get started today. So my thought is I want to cut this edge off and make a tuck here. And I think I'm going to cut this flap and make a tuck up here. So I'm going to start by cutting this flap along the line here. So I can get the general feel for this. I think because this is so close to the binding, I'm going to grab an X-Acto knife and don't laugh at my X-Acto knife. <laughs> I really need to change the blade. I say it every time I pull it out, but then I'm like, oh, it'll work one more time. No big deal. And I want to be careful not to cut through the envelope here. So here we go. All right. I think I want to flip that over. I like that. I will have to cover this part here, but I actually like that. And I didn't think about the fact that that could actually be a little tuck spot too. And then this, I was thinking I would just glue this flap down. Yeah. I'm going to just glue this flap down. I'm going to start by taking off a little bit of this on this edge. down. I already used too much glue. And then I just want to trim off some of this. I'm going to trim off a little more than just the edge because I would like for whatever type of journaling card I use there to poke out. Let's see. I'm going to use my cutter because like I always say, I'm not good at cutting straight lines. <laughs> I think I'm going to take off about that much. What is that? It's just a little over an inch. Make sure it's straight because it's in the middle of my book. I have to pay attention to the lines here. There we go. And actually I could still use this piece later on as like a little tuck or something if I wanted to. All right, so now I have my little pocket here. I'm going to do something here and make this a little tuck. And then I will have a tuck back here. And I can do something here. I'm going to start because I know I want this to be a tuck and I'm just going to glue this down. I'm going to take my vintage photo and I'm going to ink up. I have a lot of ink on my pad. I think I over inked it, <laughs> but I want to ink up these edges a little bit. I 
I might actually end up going over this with black. I'm not sure, but I definitely don't want to start there. I don't want to regret it later. I'm going to take this two inch scalloped circle punch and on the inside, I'm going to create a little, oh, tab spot so it's easier to get into this envelope. I'm just gonna take off a little bit there on the inside. All right, and I think the other thing I wanna do is I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'm not gonna do a lot of stitching because I'm not sure what I'm, how I'm decorating this yet, but I do wanna run a stitch along the inside of this envelope so that whatever I put in this pocket stays in this pocket. So I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, as I was finishing up this machine stitching, my husband walked in the room. I have the door shut. And he walked in talking to me, telling me he was going to walk, go down to the store. We have a Starbucks at the end of the road. It's really not a good thing. Anyway, that he was going down to Starbucks. But he scared me so bad that I <laughs> literally did the ah hands thing as he walked. And he's like, what in the world? <laughs> anyway, okay, moving on. So that means I have one, two three tuck spots. I like that. Yes, I made these tags and I definitely want to finish them up and use them in the journal. I want to see them though. I don't want them hidden. And see, I made them ahead of time so I couldn't make anything small enough, but I know there'll be plenty of room for them in this book. But I thought it would, you know, you could kind of cut one down if you wanted to. I don't want to because I love this but you could cut it down and make a, you know, tuck spot out of it or just a decoration or something. So I am drinking my black coffee, but I make mine at home, unlike my husband. And I just love this little Ray Dunn mug I found at Home Goods. I picked up this blue one and then a pink one that says hot chick on it. <laughs> They're just so cute, I love them. But what I really love is how much coffee that cup will hold. Anyway, I'm getting off track. All right, I want to focus, Lynette, focus on decorating this flap here with this glue on here. I have this book page and I just want some of these words. trying to figure out should I cover that glue up I think I should because it's going to get gummy over time I have this little scrap lace I might add that toward the end so I'm not going to worry about that with the paper quite yet Again, this is tea dye. I used this in my previous video. I just want to add a little bit of this to the center and take away some of that white. I don't want my paper to look so white. Even though I know I'm going to be layering in it, but there, it's better. Just to check out what we have going on in this bag. I'm gonna dump out these little tags and punches. Maybe some of these punches or something. Maybe a smaller one. I think I like the smaller one. Do we have any music? We do have music. I forgot to bring up my music. Oh, yes, we do. There it came, a piece of music came with this kit. But because mine is all the way down in the basement, I'm going to pick up this music that I just have sitting on my desk and I'm going to use some of this. Let's see. 
I just need a little piece. Littler than that even. I like this edge here. Okay, and again, I need to darken up this paper. I actually think I tea stained this one too and it's still really white. What I do love about this Tim Holtz ink is even if I'm using it on my desk, it's going to wash off. I have this little bit of cheesecloth sitting here. I'm just going to start putting some glue on this paper so it stays together. Okay, ink this guy up. I'm not going to use that side. I'm going to use this gray side. Not that I know what I'm putting on top of it yet because I don't. Maybe the smaller lace would be better. Well, I'm gonna glue this little, just in the center for now, just to hold it in place. A little more. I do have some of these die cuts I used in a previous video to create my tags left over. That might be kind of cute. Ooh, I think I like that. I actually found this. This was a Sizzix thin die set, but I found it at Tuesday morning. So I'm not sure if it's still available. If I can find it online, I will link it below. I think I will use aged mahogany. I think I'm just going to ink it up with that. The whole thing. I like that, but what else could we do? I thought that I had some little gold foil rub, but apparently it's not in there anymore. I don't know if it's something that went bad and I ended up getting rid of it. I don't know. But I just want to add a little bit of shimmer to this and I don't have any Winkastella or anything. So I'm going to attempt to add some of this coppery colored Glimmer mist, and hopefully I don't get it all over everything else. There. That's good. It's not that glittery, but I think it's okay. I actually like the little water spot that's on there, too. This color was actually called Brass Bell, so that's why it wasn't that glittery. Little piece here. I like that though. I think it adds a little something. And maybe if I take my black dauber without adding any more ink to it and kind of give him some edge. Maybe. Just want him to stand out just a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to this. And I know if you're working in this journal, I think in Tim Holtz Nature Ephemera set, there's some great bird pieces. There's also some great digital kits if you want to save some money and then you can reuse them, you know, re repetitively. You could go that route to get some bird images. And of course, there's a lot of free images online that you could download and print off to use in this journal. 
All right, I'm going to let this dry for a minute and then I think I'm just going to stitch through it on my machine really quick. All right, I like that. I'm going to glue it in place and then I think I'm going to put the lace over it. Or should I put the lace under it? What I really wanna do is cover this glue strip. I'm going to add the lace under it because I don't wanna cover up my little bird's tail. So just a little bit of glue. Trim my lace edge here. And then I'm going to glue down my little cluster. Well, I'm glad that landed the direction that it did. I think I'm going to cut this tag down or I could fold it and use it in this. But actually, I think I'm going, hmm, well, let's try it. It doesn't hurt to try. Just folding it down. I like that. And quite honestly, I'm going to leave it just like that because that means I have more journaling space when I pull this tag out to use it. I like that. So I'm just going to use my vintage photo here. Ink this up for now. I can always go back and do more to this tag later, but I want to move on working with the envelope. I'm already at 30 minutes. <laughs> for now, I'm just slipping that in there. Okay, so I reached in my scrap basket. I mentioned it in my last video that I have all my little pieces of scrap in. And I have this piece of coffee stained curtain. And I can't believe how well that fits there. So I'm definitely planning on using that there. I also have this little bit of brown lace, maybe. I think I'm going to cut this tag down. Ink this tag up. Maybe some more book page. Just take a piece of this. Well, maybe some music. I'm going to ink up this music. I spend so much time just sitting here fiddling with these little scraps. It's kind of crazy. It's why I don't do it very often. Because for some reason, it just takes me a minute to figure out what I want to do. I do love them though. Okay, I'm going to take this away from the book. I know I like that brown lace. It seems a little dark. I usually don't do things. I keep saying the same thing, don't I? <laughs> but it's true. It's hard for me to just 
not do what I normally do. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to try to stop overthinking this. I think I've been staring at this for 15 minutes. I'm going to put that there and plan on that there. I still have my button jar here from the last video. I don't want anything too bulky. I do like this mother of pearl button. I think I'll use that, but I definitely need to darken up this piece of paper. Can you tell my desk is starting to swallow me up again? <laughs> it's even swallowing up the screen, no. Okay, let's get some of this tea dye ink. I'm just adding a touch of glue and I'm gonna start sticking this down to get an idea for this. Okay, I'm just sliding this little scrap in here. I don't know. Does anyone else just spend so much time trying to put little paper pieces together or is it just me? Goodness. And then I will add that button. But first, I think I want to stitch this. All right, so I ran this through the sewing machine. And I'm just going to glue that down finally. <laughs> I'm going to leave all the strings. I don't normally leave long strings, but I'm trying to go grungier. So we'll see. All right. So now I have this little pocket here this little pocket here. Oh my goodness, you guys, we're almost at an hour and I have a whole other side here. I know there's a lot of thinking time that will be trimmed out of this, so. But that's how long it takes me. That's how long this took me, <laughs> just so you know. All right, on the back side, we have a pocket here. What do we want to do? We have this blank tag. For now, I'm just leaving that tag in there so I can have an idea of where the placement of the pocket is. And I have to think less with this one. <laughs> less thinking, more going with my instinct. All right. Always like the music. I know that I like this coffee dyed linen, so I'm going to trim off a piece of this. Think about this for a minute. I do have some more of these coffee dyed pieces. This is just the color of that tablecloth. And then I have like random little cuts. I like that. I have this really pretty piece. This must be the end of what I had, but I found this in my little scrap bin. That is so cute. I love that. Okay, I'm just going to ink this up like I said, so I don't think about it too long. So one of the things that I'm trying to get started in my Facebook group is a building your stash challenge. Um, 
No one has really posted anything yet. So ladies, <laughs> this is me begging you, not begging, just asking. What are your thoughts? What are your ideas with that? I had to find my mat. How can we do it? How can we get it done? Maybe I need to learn how to do Facebook videos. Maybe I need to go live. That scares me. I'm going to be honest. Like I said, I've spent an hour making this video. You're probably at 20 minutes. <laughs> Something like that. I guess if I had it planned out what I wanted to do, but I don't know. I need to learn. I need to spend time learning. I am not the most, I'm not geared toward technology, if that makes sense, which maybe it should. I mean, I'm sitting here using paper and <laughs> love journaling, right? There's different types of us, but I don't know. Along with the time issue, I just... I need to spend a little bit of time learning a few new things. I also need to learn a new editing software. If any of you out there, okay, I'm going to put this out there since I'm talking about editing software, are old school like me, not that techie, and you used to use Movie Maker <laughs> on Windows, but then Windows quit making that. Please tell me what you use now. Part of it is I know I could use, I know that I could stop and learn something a little more intensive, but it's just, that's not what I want to spend my time doing. When I finally get to do something, you know, I pr usually need to edit a video, let's be honest, or create. I'd much rather create. So I want something easy. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Otherwise, I will be eventually learning the program my husband tells me I need to learn. It's so funny how different we are because he is a coder. <laughs> he has his own software, you know, he does computer tech stuff. We are very opposites in that regard. It's fun. That's what makes it fun, right? Okay, I have to remember how I had this. So yes, I really should learn how to do some videos on Facebook or something to build that up a little bit because I do want to. And I know everyone is busy. Goodness, we are all busy. For sure. All right, I ran that through the machine. I've just been keeping my green thread in there. Oh, I feel like I should add something different. I'm just going to glue this guy down. I feel like this needs a pop of color. It needs some of this burgundy that's going on over here. I call it burgundy, I don't know. Well, I know I want this linen here, so I'm just going to glue that down. Just a little, I can always add some more glue later. All right, you guys, I decided that I need some of that aged mahogany in my cheesecloth. So I am going to dye some of this. I'm just going to add some of my ink here onto my mat, spray it with some water, and I'm going to use a paintbrush because I don't have any gloves up here. And I'm going to dye my cheesecloth. A little more ink.
Okay, I actually like some of the other color poking through there. Okay, I'll hit that with my dryer in a second. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take another one of these little bird die cuts, dry my mat off a little bit there, and I'm going to ink him up again. I didn't realize how great these little die cuts were going to be. I have another Glimmer Mist I reached for. This one is just Snowflake. So, hopefully, there, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna dry both of these. So because that was cheesecloth, it dried really quickly. And that is exactly what I needed. So I just wanna cut off a little piece of this. I guess if you don't have the color, make the color. And do I want that under that doily? Yes. Okay. I think I'm just going to glue this down. I'm going to add a little bit of glue here. To hold this in place. A thin layer. I did want that doily sticking off the edge a little bit. I think I'm going to have to add a little bit to my doily too. And then my little button, I'm going to glue that on. And I want it right there. And again with my little bird die cut, just going to tap it with the black dauber, not really add any more ink to the dauber. Just enough. And I'm going to glue him right there. All right, I'm liking it. It's coming together. Now we have one more side and I would like for this to be much simpler. What does that mean? Maybe just adding a piece of lace. I know that I created the front of the pocket there. This will be folded in most of the time, so. Man, I have strings <laughs> sticking to me. Strings sticking to my gluey fingers. My goodness. I might be getting tired. I have been filming all day, which is awesome. But I guess I might be getting a little tired. That's what I'm going to do. And we'll see if I come up with anything else for this envelope along the way. So, I'm just going to add some glue and add that strip of lace. I have been wanting to use that lace ever since I started this pocket. I can never tell the front and the back of these sometimes. All right. And I'm just going to tap that down and I will trim it. I like that. I think I will work on the tags for this later. It's not very grungy yet, is it? <laughs> we're definitely going to have to go back and add some grunginess but that's okay it's a start and this was my idea for this envelope so I will probably do one more process video working in this collection I also have another idea for a project that I want to create for this so I wanna work on that. And then I will finish up the journal and then share a final flip through with you. So don't forget you guys, all those links are down below. The design team is down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you guys, I will see you in the next one.
Bye.